Hello everyone, it is I, your King Billy, and today I'm going to be looking at this new latest article from, um, it looks like a total SJW cock Owen Jones. The name sounds familiar, I'm pretty sure he, people have been talking about him for quite some time. But anyway, the um, title of this article says, Hungary's War on Democracy is a War on Democracy Everywhere, Owen Jones. Okay, so for those of you who don't know, Hungary has just um, recently voted to elect their non-pro-EU, pro-mass immigration um, uh, elected official who's named Orban. So basically this person is against mass immigration. He is against the EU dictating um, what countries in Europe should do under non-undemocratic you know, um, elections, because as you all know, the EU doesn't elect officials democratically. It's literally just a bunch of politicians and elites who elect who represents and runs the EU. The people do not control the policies that happen in the EU. So this is one of the many examples of how the EU is not democratic, it is very undemocratic. And as usual, the um, far left establishment, which is pro-EU because to them, they support mass immigration, which makes them the good guys because, you know, diversity is our strength and mass immigration is always good and is never a flaw or something horrible. They're obviously going to support this. So essentially, Andrew Quaxon, who is, you know, one of the many satire accounts that support non far left politics, basically says Hungarians vote for Orban, democracy bad. Britons vote for Brexit, democracy bad. Americans vote for Trump, democracy bad. Democracy is only declared good when it assures the leftist power. Assures leftist power. This is totally true. Here's what you need to know about progressives. Progressives only care about their game of power. That's it. They will get rid of democracy when it suits their needs. They'll get rid of rights when it suits their needs. They'll get rid of free speech when it suits their needs. Again, there is literally no freedom or right except for the rights and freedoms of those that they support or is their special interest group, you know, that <laughs> they will keep keep and maintain those rights and freedoms. Everyone else who falls outside of that special interest group or members of that special interest group who do not side with the progressives, you know, people like Milo, who's gay and conservative, people like Thomas Sowell, Jason Whitlock of Fox, you know, of Fox, all those basically minorities who you know who preach non-left-leaning beliefs such as conservatism being republican supporting trump nationalism patriotism all that stuff all those minorities that don't follow the left wing the far left narrative yeah they are going to have their rights taken away too so yeah so not even being part of a special interest group will save you from the wrath of these insane and pro-fascist progressives who literally just view freedom and you know rights as something that helps them get their power. That's it. Seriously, once the far left takes power, they are going to strip people's rights away. And anyone who poses a threat to them is basically going to either be blacklisted, gotten rid of, or intimidated into silence. This is the reality. Because here's the thing you need about power. When an extreme group basically gains power, that power corrupts them, and they are scared of losing that power. That's my point. It's the same thing with radical feminism. Radical feminism has almost always been about power, especially in the last 20 or so years. It's always been about power. It's not about rights. It's not about being treated equally. It's simply all about, I want to be treated like an elite class citizen who basically is given everything they want. That's it. So, yes. These same people are against Hungary being a sovereign nation and believe that they should open up the borders to all forms of immigrants and basically and import a massive amount of people from third world countries without even thinking about the repercussions of such acts. But of course, progressives don't care about, again, progressives are communists. When you hear the term, you know, um, inequality, income inequality, um, equity, you know, universal, whatever, that is code word for communism and Marxism. Again, when someone ever uses the term income inequality, it's always, they're always talking, they're actually talking about communism. That's just communism right there. And progressives are communists. And to progressives, the only thing they care about is the is the nonstop revolution. The revolution never ends, like I said before in previous videos. These people do not care 
of how much of the economy they destroy. They don't care how much social unrest they create. They don't care about how much terrorism they have. They don't care about your safety. All they care about is gaining power, promoting their special interest groups, and promoting hate and division. That's it. They thrive off of hate and division. They want to have people go against each other because it means more people will vote for them. They want a population of people who are needy and are always needing assistance because it will give them more power. Again, a person who has money and is well taken is um, is well off is not going to vote for someone who's basically going to take away his money and basically hinder him by giving him taxes. Again, the more money people have, the less likely they are to vote socialist. This is the reality. Socialists thrive off of debt unemployment, you know, being indebted to the state, needing health care, all that stuff. This is all just a ploy so that socialists can gain power. Socialists thrive off of poverty. That's co contrary to what people want to believe. Capitalism is better when people have money. It works. When socialism, when socialism comes in, then people don't have money because socialists need desperate people who are going to basically vote for whoever's going to give them free shit. It's one of the reasons why they imported so many immigrants from third world countries and in the U.S. we're having illegal immigration pour into our nation because people who come from third world countries and people who immigrate here illegally need help. They need to have welfare. They need you know, housing. They need food. They need all sorts of stuff, which means in order to get all that stuff, they're going to have to expand the welfare state. And by expanding the welfare state, they're going to have to expand the government. And when you expand the government, it means you're going to have more taxes, more money being spent by said government, and more jobs created by said government, you know, for the government. So you're going to have less private jobs, more government jobs, and you're going to have a bigger government, which means there's more likelihood of corruption, more politicians getting fat off of all of our tax dollars. So yeah, yeah, this is what progressives want. They want to build their socialist utopia through importing a massive amount of immigrants from third world countries, which will destabilize the economy, and then they'll use the excuse saying, well, the capital system won't work unless we because there's too many poor people in America. That's just their excuse. So yeah, it's all just a plot by a bunch of socialists to basically bring the entire world under social, their socialist you know, dictatorship. Simple as that. Anyway, this has been my rant about this Twitter post by Owen Jones. So anyway, if you like what you saw, then you can hit the like button, subscribe. This is your King Billy signing out.